Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mortal Fury. I'm Dean. Uh, my buddy Chris here. Not with me again. Uh, he's still struggling with the uh, sickness. Those of you who don't know, he's had COVID. He's been down for a few weeks now. He uh, spent a whole week in the hospital. Thankfully, he is uh, out of the hospital and he's on the way to getting better. So he uh, wants to pass along his uh, uh, appreciation for everybody out there, all the well wishes, all the prayers. He says he'll be back as soon as he can. I can't wait to get him back. Um, I don't like doing this alone. We started this together, and uh, I so appreciate the time that we get to spend together and get to bring these shows out weekly. We just love doing it. Uh, Chris's spirits are good. I briefly talked with him. He's planning on being back next week, so that's good news. Um, we'll see how it goes. But like I said, his spirits are, are really good. It was so encouraging to talk to him. Uh, he's been reflecting a lot on the uh, this past year um, during these last couple weeks. Um, and I think there's going to be some great shows coming up. I can't wait. Can't wait to get back together with Chris and uh, get some good stuff out to you all. Um, in the meantime, this week, uh, you're stuck with me again. So uh, I'll share uh, uh, some things that have been on my mind a a as usual, as per usual uh, way it goes for me. My thoughts, uh, I get scattered. I get all over the place. Uh, there's so many things that I... I want to share. I'll start working on something, and then something will get in the way and change, and um, it gets frustrating. Um, but uh, who's not frustrated out there, right? We all we all go through that. Uh, Chris and I was we was talking a little bit about that. Um, uh, just this uh, life in general, uh, the things that uh, people struggle with, and. Um, like I said, and we know we're we're just subjected to to uh, sin and death and uh, uh, things that just aren't just and, and lies and all kinds of crazy stuff, and it bombards us all the time, you and me. Um, so we're we're in this together as far as that goes. Um, no one escapes it. You know, at best we have good days and bad days. So, um, thankfully, uh, truth, um, when that comes online, that, that can bring about peace. And we're so thankful to have that, that foundation that only comes <clears throat> from the Father. It only comes from His peace. Uh, it's been provided for the whole world through His Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to know and believe that uh, to know that that is uh, something that uh, uh, has happened um, and has come from God that has nothing to do with with uh, humans participation in it all is going to come to believe it that's how they get to participate in it um, and God does that as he sees fit um, he does that uh, on every everybody has their own unique timing for that so yeah if you don't know that out there um, perhaps you do know it and still struggling mightily with a lot of things just know that God is working in and through you uh, he's building something he has a plan he's gonna see it to completion uh, a lot of times now especially in this what we're subjected to things get really really messy and gets scattered and there's not a lot of peace uh, we start searching for other things um, to bring about peace like I said sometimes good days sometimes bad days uh, but the real peace comes from God and, and knowing his son our Savior the Lord Jesus Christ so yeah as I uh, reflect a little go back to when I first come on uh, to some truth that grounded me. Um, that God's in control. I, I came to believe that he's actually in control. 100%. And that um, 
and maybe a better way to say it, what I first came on to is that God can't fail. He's not going to fail. So maybe, um, uh, and if, if that's something you could ask yourself, do you believe in a God that can't fail? Or will the God that you believe in, is he a failure? Does the God that you believe in, does he fail? And you could check that, perhaps, by thinking what it is your God said he's going to do. Um, now, I don't think there's any debate, especially in my old upbringing, uh, all of Christianity. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that there's a debate because Scripture is full of God's plan to send a son to be the Savior of the world. And that's what Scripture says. That's what, whether you believe it or not, you know, you can look and Scripture says uh, God sent a son. And why did he do that? What What's the purpose? Well, to be the Savior of the world. So that's the question. So did it work? Does it work? Or did God fail somehow? And it doesn't work. I think anybody, especially in Christianity, is going to say, well, no, my God's not a failure. He knows what he's doing. He's not going to fail. I can't call him a failure. Okay, well, if he's not a failure, then did he send his son to save the world, to be the savior of the world? I think he did. Chris thinks he did. Uh, it's a big reason why we did the show. We just pass that on. Seems simple, right? Um, but most don't believe it. Because, yeah, but... All right. And, and then you get all the... All the... Um, confusion... To answer why... Jesus is not going to save everybody. And of course, it's just... The belief that the human is more powerful... And the human can will his way outside of a relationship with the Creator. When you're designed for the very purpose to be in relationship with your Creator, He knows what He's doing. He, he's building you for a purpose. And He's working in you for a purpose. And that it's a good outcome what it's going to come to. And what you're going to become. And sometimes it's painful and sometimes it's slow, the work that gets done. But God's not going to fail. He's going to work through everything for you. Everything's been planned for you. He's going to work it out for you. All things are going to work for the good. That's that's for everybody. Um, so with that, maybe I'll see what else here I got. Maybe I'll read one more thing. Um, and then we'll look forward to getting back together with Chris, right? Can't wait. All right. Here's a quote from um, my brother Clyde, an encouraging thing. It says, uh, those who know Father as the great planner and director of our days can know his own peace in our lives. And that's so true. When you, when you come, when you get that belief and you know God's planned everything out it certainly can bring peace um, he goes on to say this peace of God has nothing to do yeah listen to this this peace of God what what it, we're talking about here and what Paul our apostle teaches us all the time has nothing to do with family neighborhood or civil, or social, or national peace. <laughs> um, it's about our hearts aligned with God and His purpose. That alone brings quietness and peace to our hearts and our lives. So, 
yeah, that all comes from God. Um, and that peace all comes from Him. Chris and I here, we pray for that for you guys out there. I want you to know peace, have a settled mind, um, be grounded on truth that comes from Apostle Paul, uh, comes from our Savior Christ. Know that He's working in you. Um, God's got a plan and He's not a failure and He's going to work that plan and, until the end. He's going to work that plan. And yours is a unique case, like mine's a unique case. Everybody out there is a unique case, but he is working his plan through everybody. He's going to bring them all back to himself. Every knee will bow. Everybody's going to claim to this Lord, to this Savior that we call Christ, that we call Jesus Christ. Um, we're all going to get there eventually. And peace is going to come to all. And I'm very thankful for that. I'm so thankful to be able to present that in this darkened world that looks everywhere else for this peace. And like I said, no one is at fault for doing that. They're, uh, for the most part, I, I see people doing the best they can to manage in this ridiculous, evil world that we live in of... Like I said, I've been down a little lately. When I look around, all I see seems like is error and lies and frustration. Um, but it's temporary, and it's for a purpose. So, thanks a lot for joining me. Um, like I said, next week, if things go well, Chris going to be back, and we'll be back together. So I look forward to that, as I know you do. I uh, hope you guys all have a good week. I hope you uh, experience a little peace that only God can bring. That'll be my prayer for everybody out there. Um, so yeah, let's have a good week. See y'all next time. Love y'all. Bye.